Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. We are Thursday, the 22nd of what will be February 2024, and today we are looking at these kits. Now, different color for these two, anyway, that's the same. Uh, I thought they're slightly different. I have to check my order again, but it looks like they'll be the same kit, just in different colors. So, this is a uh, Lorty G Assist Humanoid Soldier, and it's got apparently 137 parts, which is that a lot? It doesn't sound like too many. So I'm going to be uh, making this up in a little while and seeing what it's like. Now, when I ordered, I swear one was in like a in a dog or animal, uh, what's the word, configuration. So I don't know if that actually does that or not. Let's have a quick look inside and see anything like that. Oh, don't cut the cardboard. Anything on like that on the instructions. Let's have the instructions. And, and, uh, not too bad in terms of parts. Does look decent. You got the match soldier and you got peacekeeping armor. Have I got peacekeeping armor? I've not. I've got peacekeeping peacekeeping armor. If I haven't, I'm about to get some. 130 scale. It says you see on the back what it looks like with the armor. Does it come with armor? I guess it does. Doesn't appear to be over complicated instructions. I am quite looking forward to. It. I do like a nice kit. You know, it's really sort of relaxing to a. Build a kit with a TV show, not a very good TV show because always you know you're gonna miss parts, uh, <laughs> you know. So it's of the TV show making your kit, so but it's a nice, relaxing way to spend an evening or so forth. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do this off camera, I think. Today, I'll build this off camera, and when I've done, I'll come back, we'll have a look, and see what they are like. Um, it might be a few days later I complete this because I'll probably build all three at the same time as opposed to doing one now and wait later i'm not sure we'll see anyway i'll be back in an instant so do stay tuned bye bye okay and i'm back i actually built just one box uh and i did it the same day so yes you can build both of these from one box which is fantastic really good value i think and they do look fantastic now building them the build is quite easy maybe one part instructions is a little bit unclear i actually inserted his uh lower leg on one of the legs the wrong way around and I had the devil's own job getting that small pin out but I did it in the end um and swapped it around and actually broke a pin on him but fortunately there is a pin that's only one of fortunately the pin I broke uh wasn't really needed to keep everything in place because the other parts keep that in place as well so it didn't really affect that build too uh, so I guess next time I shouldn't really watch TV shows or building models, but I do enjoy doing it that way. Okay, so you get two. You can see one just a plain, really nice looking uh, robot stroke android. They've got a big one there. looks fantastic too. Uh, we'll look at them. Um, they get loads of spare parts on the sprues, which is great. So you've got more kits. you get more spare parts that can work with these kits. And maybe some other kits because some parts might be compatible between this and other brands depending on their sizes and whatnot. But... Let's get a close look on the smaller version first. Looks great. This has got uh, like a Uzi almost and like a pistol, a little machine pistol and a pistol. You get two head options with him. Does look good. See from the back. Very, very nice figure, has to be said. There's only one complaint I've got about him. That's on the articulation. That is his ankles don't have a left and right so it's just a up and down a tippy turn and a dorsi flexation and the bigger one you get three head options for him now he i believe is going to scale well with 118 but i'd rather change a slightly bigger head he looks good you could drill the barrels and the guns yourself he holds the guns well and give him articulated toes as well the only real issue on him is these foot parts here i would probably want to glue in a little bit not inside because that might stiffen the joint, but from the outside because they pop out sometimes. Now these little parts here, um, I built it that way. You can you can have it without those parts because what you can do is you can take the little arms of this guy and stick onto the waist of this guy. So it has four arms, which is really fantastic, I think. But you don't get enough arms to do that in the box unless you open another box. Which means you get one of these guys without arms. So you know. But he looks great. Such a great looking thing. I think he's going to look great with 118. I think he's going to scale quite well. 
Okay, let's go through articulation. Small guy first of all. So you can look left and right. There is a really good down with the neck and the head. And up with the head, not so much. And he gets a side to side. Shoulders are all the way around. And to the side he goes uh, flat. There is a bicep swivel and bicep bend is over 90. The hands, though, they just turn. There's nothing. Well, you get a small bit of movement there, but it's mainly a turn. On the trunk, you get a good, decent forwards. Not so much a backwards, and you get a turn. Hips all the way. There's a thigh turn. You've got a double kneecap as tight as you like. And then the only thing is the feet, because you have a tippy toe. You have a dorsiflexation. There is no twist, and there's no swivel side to side but this is absolutely fantastic really great job you know i love my kits like uh your number 57 i think they're amazing this is right up in some ways they are better but we'll do a comparison number 57 in a little while as well as with uh, 118 skill okay so the bigger guy articulation you have the left and the right, you have a side to side, you have down by the neck and back up by the neck, and you can go up and back too to look up. Shoulders all the way around to the side. Again, you're getting flat. Again, there's a bicep swivel. And again, you're getting well over, look at that, well over 90 degrees. There's also a shoulder roll forwards. So you can get his arm right across, which is fantastic. More so if you use the bicep swivel. So really good, better than some of your 118 scale figures. In fact, better than a lot of your 118 scale figures than that. And then the hand is on the ball, so there is direction. There is movement in all directions, but it's very, very small. Uh, waist, he can lean backwards really well. Forwards, mm, a little bit. He can turn. Hips, again, will be a full splits, which is great. Uh, forwards is great. Backwards is a little bit. In fact, I didn't show that on this one, did I? On this one, forwards is great and backwards is about there. Any more than that, and that's going to go to the side. This is about the same. We also have the thigh twist again. You have a double kneecap again, and we get super tight, as you can see. The feet are great, but you just you don't have a boot turn. So you have a dorsiflexation, which is pretty good, I think. You have a pretty decent tippy-toe. There's no boot turn, but you do get the swivel out and in on the feet, which is great. Let me get them both standing up straight, and we'll go through um, size, then do a comparison with some other scales and other lines. Oop, stand up for me. Okay, so it my new my uh, new tape measure because there's centimeters and inches. The smaller one is about two and a half inches, so he is about six and a half seven uh, six and a half cm. The bigger one is around about four inches, so he's around a, he's just over nine and a half, approaching ten cm, which means he's going to scale well. So let's do the smaller one first. Um, so number fifty seven do fantastic kits and i've got one here from the wolf hunter I've not put his hands on him but you see that uh, he can work he just feels a bit too small with number 57 and this one yeah, he could work as well but feels a bit too big maybe but he'd work with maybe something like the manhunter stuff and whatnot so it's okay however this little guy check this out if you're into your uh fortnite uh, legendary micro series is it check that out that is a perfect perfect skill match so so cool they had worked together in the same universe quite happily also if you're into your uh archi core here's one of the uh desert guys desert rangers again scales well with desert ranger was scaled probably better with the archi knights as well so that's really quite cool 
Now let's check out the bigger guy with some 118. I'll use my Fortnite custom aim. Who is like 95% finished? Just got to do a few bits on him in some time in the distant future. And you see, oops, move it across. I think that scales really well. The only thing really is, like I said before, I'd rather change that head to a slightly bigger head. That might be some modification, so it sticks up more. But he scales really well. Let me come backwards a little bit. Scales great with that. Let's use an Acid Rain World, my Narinu Sentinel. Fantastic figure, one of my favourites. With a Fortnite fade head. Again, you see he scales well. I think a slightly bigger head. And these colours as well, that's going to be a really good match with your... Uh, with your... Um, your, what they call your red shadows <laughs> and your skeleton troopers and whatnot for the uh, robust gold mark two very very cool indeed really good kit really good set i've got two in the other color scheme that honestly i think i might look to buy some more in this color scheme i just think they look fantastic and as i said you can build it without the little arm pins on the side i don't know if i'll take them apart and remove them or whether i'll just cut them off who knows probably take them apart and remove them sometime in the future those little arm pins on the side, or maybe I'll add some small arms. And if you look at these little arm pins on the side as well. They also have, well, they should have, or don't know, or do they have, or don't know, they don't have, no, they don't have, they don't have the roll. I thought they had the roll. The roll's on the upper ones here. But that is such a great looking figure. It's a fantastic set, really, really good kit. And you know, you can draw the barrels and the guns easily, not gonna be that difficult. With a little hobby drill but highly recommended if you're into your uh, your kits highly recommended if you're into 118 scale and if you did armor puppets i still gonna highly recommend it even though the compatibility with size and look a bit strange perhaps but it's your universe you make it work the way you want but these are just really really good very happy with this great kit 100 percent recommended by me Okay, this is Awesome Master Boy signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. Please do check out the Patreon link in the video description below. Also, link in the top right of your screen. Uh, get to see all the content before it's published on YouTube. We have exclusive content from time to time. Also, we have prize draws from time to time too, so it is worth checking out. I will see you in the next video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.